Our friendly neighborhood wall crawler is back in Spider-Man Far From Home, the latest addition to the ever-growing Marvel Cinematic Universe. The sequel to the 2017 Spider-Man Homecoming blockbuster flick just hit cinemas on Wednesday, and fans have been filling up theater halls to catch the superhero movie starring Tom Holland and Jake Gyllenhaal. Our trainee reporter, Nur Fatima Zahra Ahmad, who had a chance to experience the thrilling actions in IMAX, has the details. We are here at Wan Utama's TGV Cinemas, where fans are gathered here tonight to watch the premiere of the new Marvel movie, Spider-Man Far From Home. If you have watched the movie, please do not spoil anything. So let's grab some popcorns and drinks, and let's enjoy the movie. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Spider-Man Far From Home follows the life of the titular character about two months after the sorrowful events in Avengers Endgame, giving fans a glimpse of the world after the Marvel superheroes defeated Thanos and undid the Mad Titan's famous finger snap, which erased half of life in the universe. You should have gone for the head. In the sequel, Peter Parker decided to take a break from fighting crimes as his alter ego, Spider-Man, and travels to Europe with his high school friends. However, trouble follows him as he is forced to don his Spidey suit and face off with another supervillain to save the world. On Friday, some 200 lucky fans were treated to a free special screening of the movie by URC Snack Food Malaysia. We are actually rewarding our uh, consumers right, to a new experience in snackings. So hence, we are bringing them to like, IMAX here with a, a very new elevated experience of how movies should be enjoyed. Fans who showed up was certainly enjoyed the slightly over two hour long movie, which wraps up phase three of the MCU. I've been a fan of Spider-Man since I've been five years old and I feel like a five year old boy right now. And it's going to be really hard to do this without spoiling anything. but. All I can say is, is uh, if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Spider-Man fan, you got to watch this. You have to. Yeah, I feel like I need to watch the next movie right now. The ending was super crazy and I can't believe there's a lot of um, romantic scenes. Like most Marvel movies, there are two post-credit scenes to look forward to, so be sure to stay in your seats until the end to catch it. The movie was amazing, A++, honestly. Ooh. So good, like the story plot and everything is so good. I want to rewatch it over and over again. Although Marvel has not made any official announcements on the next MCU movie, fans can expect to see the studio's next film in May 2020, according to Disney's current release calendar. Nor Fatima Zara Ahmad for 7 Edition.